yeah. what stood out to you about what makes a great speech or a great yeah. keynote because yeah. you just said you know we have a temptation to teach don't but teach. actually don't yeah don't, don't teach. teach nobody wants to be taught and the other thing is commandment number one here's the real point reveal something never seen before so mm. so talk about something that you've never spoken publicly about and that's what we don't do we teach what we know right who cares what you know? What I want to know is what have you learned, right? Yes. What have yes. you, what's new? What's new for you? And why is it so interesting and exciting? Mm -hmm. If you've taught it a million times, people it's already dumb. know it. It's dumb. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be taught that. I want to know what, what you've learned and how you got there. It's kind of like your podcast. Exactly. Exactly. What was the change? And what did you get from it? How did you get that? How did you get to that so that other people can figure out the pattern of, okay, well, I can take this experience and I can, I can explore in the same way. Exactly. Right? And I think so, that's, yeah. Yeah. So do something never, you've never done before. Um, show us the real you. Be authentic. Laugh. Cry. Don't be afraid of your emotions. If you're just in your left hemisphere, character one, it's a pretty boring PowerPoint right? Don't ever put words on a PowerPoint, or if you do, it shouldn't be more than like three or five words on a slide. Don't make me read. If I'm reading, my brain yeah. can only do one thing at a time. Don't make me compete with listening to you. Either what you have to say is worth me listening to, or why are you up there wasting my time? You know? And make the complex simple. Simplify, yes. simplify, simplify, simplify. Do not dazzle intellectually. Don't speak in abstractions. Explain, give examples, tell stories, be specific. Yeah. Connect with people's emotions. Make us laugh, make us cry. In, in that speech, it, I mean, it was write them high and write them low. And oh my God, people were weeping. People took that stroke. And everybody knows somebody with a stroke. And people were literally audibly sobbing by the time I became a great well gliding through a sea of silent euphoria. They were with me on this ride. And I yeah. had zero self-consciousness. I, I had to have zero in order to simply be present. I had no fear. Don't flaunt your egg, your head. Don't boost. Um... Yeah, because who you know it's all left brain. We don't want it. We don't want that. Touch me, reach in. No selling from the stage ever. No. Feel free to comment on other speakers. They liked it when we talked about other people, but um, there was no way I could do that because I was scripted. Let's see. If possible, don't read your talk. And now everybody's up there with a phone. It's like, oh my god, what they? this is yeah. Okay. Well, I've been to TED, so I've seen a lot of TED, right? And a lot of people are up there with their, their phones. And I, I get it because there's it's nothing more, more heartbreaking. I mean, it's terrifying. Yes. Right? TED stage is terrifying. Be real. Um, if it's a TEDx, that's a much friendlier audience. But when it's TED, it's like it's the red dot. You've got to be on. Um, and you can tell. You can, I mean, I mean, I could talk to you for hours about how to give a TED talk. Um, you must end your talk on time, always, boom. If, whatever you ever do, you end it on the second that you end it on. You have to be on time. And they actually gave me five extra minutes because they saw my rehearsal. And Chris said, draw it out as long as you want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because yeah. it was, it was going to blow his audience away and he wanted Yes. That. Yes. Um, so rehearse your talk front uh, in front of trusted friends. You absolutely have to do this in front of people. If you can't do it in front of people, you know, you cannot do this in front of an audience of thousands of people. I mean, you got to, you, you know, and listen to their criticism. I mean, my TED talk, uh, it was one of my best friends. It was like, I had four days and the thing was scripted and I'd done it a thousand times, literally. 
And I did it in my dreams. I mean, it was so bad. My partner would roll over and say, okay, where are you at? Where are you at in the talk? You know, and it's like, so I would, I would recite the talk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just, you know, I'm walking the dog. I'm reciting the talk, right? I, it had to become automatic. And one of my, one of my girlfriends was, it was just a few days before and she, I get to the last part and I was teaching, right? I had three things for you people to learn from this stroke. And she just shook her head and she said, no. No, no, you can't do no, it. You, need, said, you changed the ending, didn't you? I did. I changed yeah. the ending. I I became a great whale. And it was just like, oh, my God. I mean, talk about vulnerability. I mm -hmm. was a thousand percent vulnerable. And it was like, but it was the right thing to do because people were so blown away that they would then listen to what I had to teach. Mm. You know, and they I were gave, touched. I gave them the gift of this beautiful experience and I gave them the gift of my vulnerability and then they were mine and I'm still 15 years later keynote. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. sharing that, Joe.